Moving's hard. What's even harder is when... <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying this. Is when you get all the stuff moved in and then you can't find anything. I know everything's here, but you know, honestly. So I've started to make this room at least a little livable. There's all my Eve boxes. Well, some of them, that's not even all of them. And I have couch bits in the front room, or actually in the hallway. I haven't located my computer yet. I think it might be in this room somewhere. Yeah. So, all right, but, you know. And then there's, well, I have even more rooms of stuff, but they look like that other one. So we got uh, a washer today. We don't, we don't have a stove yet. We're still working on that. And our sink, no water. Why no water? Oh, well, okay. There's a little bit of water, but we have a problem down here. And that is that it's been leaking. Oh, I can see that there's more water down there that I didn't anticipate. So anyway, we got the water turned off on part of this down there. Uh, uh, so we talked to the guy today who put in the, the dishwasher. We had it installed. And he told us about these things called shark bite, which I, you know, really, we only use those, you know, the only time I hear about shark bite is underground cables. And, uh, you know, like fiber cables across the ocean, call it shark bite whenever they, uh, whenever something happens to them. Everybody say hi to dad. Hi. <laughs> and so, anyway, we are going to be, uh, going today to try and uh, pick up some of these and see what we can do to replace the valves under there because they're leaking and I assume it's because they've been sitting there for a year and without any water on them because the water's been turned off and it uh, you know they're old so he told us about these we're gonna give it a try and then maybe we'll have water in the kitchen because currently, right now, we only have it in one bathroom. Oh, well, the toilet's flush too. So, that's a bonus. So, the house is coming along. There's a lot of stuff that we're working on. I mean, it is like, it's kind of like this little bit of organized chaos. And so we're working on all kinds of stuff. And you know, I was thinking about it. You know, like, you know, Here's our, here's our uh, front room, whatnot, you know. And then there is Iolo. Say hi to everybody. Yeah, she says no. And, <clears throat> you know, oh, and look at all them Eve boxes. The, it's gonna be really hard to document everything and do videos if I try and separate out everything into its own little segments like here's me rearranging furniture in the front room which would be really but just we're just gonna we're just go with the flow consider this to be multiple storylines and you know just a little bit of organized chaos going on mm -hmm. yeah all right we have this beautiful mailbox I mean well, it's not beautiful. It's just, it's a really old mailbox and, well, maybe 10 years old, 15 years old. I don't know. And <clears throat> post office said no. Apparently, maybe something's gone into place or something where we uh, ha have to replace this mailbox now. And so the uh, postal lady that comes by and delivers our mail, she's like, nope. Nope, gotta have something out at the curb, whatnot. Well, it's not out at the curb, but we didn't get a post. We actually had somebody come out and uh, and dig that for us. I didn't want to di buy a post hole digger and stuff like that for just you know a mailbox. Anyway, still needs a mailbox on it. It's in the other room. I had to go buy some specialized tools for that. We'll get to that later. All right, another bit of the chaos going on around here. 
We got uh, this new stove, range, gas range. Gas company's coming today to hook it up. Look at that, double oven. Next item on the list. No, it's not doing dishes. It's getting water to the dishes. All right, so we got this really ugly looking stuff down here and there is a leak. That's why we got this tray down here. I think that the leak might be coming from the top up there and it's not really these valves down here that's leaking but now I gotta try and prove that. All right so I've turned this hot water valve on and let's see here. See if there's any leaking coming in down here. And I'm just holding on to the line up here to see if there's any water dripping down. The only water I'd see dripping down is off of that one right there. Um, so I'm not feeling anything there. All right, so let's, oh, did you see that drip, drip, drip? Okay, where's that coming from? All right. Both of these seem to be just fine. It's this here. It's dripping from underneath the sink. This right here. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. But, uh, I guess I'm going to figure it out. YouTube to the rescue. Got to go watch some videos. So. Here's what I've discovered. That this mowing faucet under here, there's a cartridge. Take this off and then you unscrew it and there's a cartridge in here. Same thing on this side. This side is the base and uh, there's an O-ring under here. Now, I can't tell which side is leaking. Whereas this side, this side, or this. And because from the videos I watched, it could be any of the three. It could even be all three. And these darn things have cartridges in them. And, you know, instead of just replacing a, you know, a little gasket or seal, you got to replace a whole darn cartridge. Ah, man, you know, like, do I want to do that? I don't know. Um, and so here, <clears throat> this right here, the videos I watched, they used a, a rubber wrench. It's like a strap thing, but I'm going to see if I can just do it with my own hands. Oh yeah. All right. So pull this off. I don't know if I should be taking the water off to the house for doing this part. <laughs> or not. And, wow, that's awful loose. Is that just, oh, look at that. Okay, so, wow, this might be where it's, where it's leaking from. This is all grody looking and everything. Hmm. All right, I got some work to do. All right, so I cleaned this up a bit and, um, it has, oh, is that a crack in it, or is that supposed to be there? Well, it looks like it's probably supposed to be there. Probably how you get it on. Anyway, I cleaned it all up. There's a little bit of, uh, like, water, hard water buildup. And down in here, doesn't seem to be anything that I can pull out of there. Maybe I can, but I'm just going to try putting this back together here and hmm, okay, let's uh, screw this in screw it in tight and maybe just maybe <clears throat> maybe we won't have any more leaks I don't know that's probably wishful thinking huh so all right let me turn this water on 
And no, oh shit, it's really leaking now. All right, turn that back off. Um, plan B. Now, I know you're wondering what the hell plan B is. Shit, I don't know. So I thought, maybe I'll put it back together and then, you know, pull it apart again. And this time when I pull it up, whoops, uh, this looks a lot different than the last time I took it apart. And this looks really messed up. So there is, there's a lot of grime in here and other stuff. But what happened is, is that this unscrewed from this and I need to unscrew this from this. And so now I've got myself into a pickle. Just got a call from the gas company. They're coming out. They'll be here in 10 minutes to hook it up. Now we'll be cooking with gas. All right. Stove's in. Looks like it's not level. What? Come on. You playing with well, the new toy? Maybe it's the countertop is not level. I don't know. Oh. See yeah. what I mean? Look at it that. just seems like it's leaning backwards. Huh. Does it have thingies on the feet to make it more level, do you know? Maybe. All right, now we're going. So we had to uh, level it once it was in, and now it is level, or it's very, very close. It has the typical legs on the bottom, like you screw them, unscrew them, but uh, the instructions only said level it, adjust the legs. It didn't say what kind they were. We had to do all four of them because the back was, I don't know, it was down too low, and then we couldn't lower the front enough to, you know, old house. It's not necessarily a level floor. Mm. Looking forward to something that isn't fast food or microwaved. Is the food done yet? Looks horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner time. Good, good successful ending to the day.